Today we're going to talk about Texas Tech quarterback Tyler Shuck and why he has the ability to potentially be one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12 this year and what he brings to the table uh, in the quarterback room overall at Texas Tech. When the Big 12 media day is just completing as of yesterday, uh, there's more and more uh, kind of talk and publicity of just Big 12 football in general. So I want to take a few minutes and talk about the quarterbacks. And Tyler Shuck is one I have not spent a lot of time on uh, for the simple fact I haven't had a bunch of film on him. But uh, I do, I did get some film, so we were able to break down some film. So we're going to watch what he brings to the table, why he can be a good uh, quarterback in the Big 12, potentially one of the better quarterbacks in the Big 12, and kind of just look at his strengths and, and what Texas Tech can utilize for him. But before we look at the film and kind of talk more about Shuck, I want to encourage you to consider subscribing to the channel if you like any quarterback-related content. Anything involved with quarterbacks is fair game here, and we are always open to suggestions, advice, and uh, anything that y'all would want to see in the channel. So let's go ahead and dive into Tyler Shuck. So the transfer from Oregon, which again, I don't know why exactly that transfer happened, but whatever happened there, uh, I'm sure Texas Tech fans are glad that he is here. And one big thing stands out to me as, as far as what Texas Tech would be able to utilize, and that's his ability to push the ball downfield. And so he does it in several different ways, which we're going to watch on film, but he's able to do it on the run. He's able to do it while finding a, a mismatch. So we're going to see several different clips of him finding guys one-on-one -on -one and, and uh, the DBs and press man just taking a shot. I think just taking a shot is, is big for an offense. And then we're going to see the ability to him maneuver in the pocket, let the play develop, or, or, or just kind of keep the play alive and push the ball downfield. Even though... Um, even if the completion doesn't happen from push the ball downfield, I think offensively it's still a good thing because it opens up the offense, it spreads the defense out, and the defense has to be thinking about it now. So he does he did a good job of that at Oregon, push the ball downfield. Another thing we're going to demonstrate is his legs and his ability to run. Now he's not necessarily going to outrun a DB or he's not a quote unquote dynamic athlete, but he has enough athleticism and speed where the defense has to at least be aware because he can hurt you if they just kind of fall asleep and don't pay attention. So let's look at his stats from last year real quick with Tyler Shuck and was it six or seven games by for Oregon? Again, not very much because of COVID. He had 13 passing touchdowns, two rushing, six interceptions, right under 1,600 yards passing. It was, it was 1,500, uh, right over 1,500. And he had 271 yards rushing. His completion percentage was about 63-ish, but his biggest thing that stood out was yards per attempt were at 9.3. The Texas Tech quarterbacks last year who started the majority of the games were 6.9 and 6.4. So, And again, that's something that is probably uh, not the Texas Tech's quarterbacks all fault last year. There's probably some offensive schemes going on, but regardless, Shuck is coming in with the ability and the uh, previous history of pushing the ball downfield, which Texas Tech fans will be excited for. So let's go ahead and dive in the film. Let's watch him push the ball downfield in multiple different ways, and then we're going to see the back end of the video we're going to see his athleticism and his ability to hurt you with his legs so here's a hell of a throw by shuck might be my favorite throw he's had all season and um it's just a, a, a you know 10 -ish yard out but watch him take a hit in the pocket deliver from the right hash to the right hash to the left side of the field long throw as he takes a hit let's watch it from the this angle as well we'll kind of pause it Able to stand in the pocket. So we got free rushers coming in, right? They beat their guys. About to take a hit. Long throw from the right hash of the field. So now we get picture that image. And then look how long this throw is. So the ability to throw the ball downfield doesn't always have to be a deep bomb necessarily. Like right there is a 10-ish, 12-ish yard out. Uh, but it's the arm strength to get the ball and the accuracy to deliver it with pressure in the face. Main word being pressure in the face and still deliver this ball. Watch the hit he takes. Takes a hit. Still throws a very accurate ball across the field. So here we have Shuck demonstrating ability to move in the pocket, which I think he does a good job of. But then the one of the kind of the, the, the most important traits I'm looking forward to him bringing to the Texas Tech offense is just the ability to push the ball downfield, able to chunk the ball as 50 plus yards in the air and from the middle of the field to the right side of the field. So good job moving the pocket. Maybe he wasn't in the middle of the field. A good job moving the pocket and demonstrating the ability to push the ball downfield. Something the Texas Tech offense will want. He does get kind of the middle of the field. Able to step into his throw and push the ball downfield. Just able to open up the offense. So here's a touchdown throw from Shuck. It's going to be to the running back out of the backfield. He's running just a basic wheel route here. Gets open. He is open. Good, easy throw. But notice still the ball is being pushed downfield. And Shuck is taking a hit while standing in the pocket. Uh, something that is making the throw tougher. Even though he makes it look easy here. Takes the hit. Boom, but still the ball is being delivered downfield, which is what we want to see in Texas Tech's offense. Even if balls aren't being completed necessarily, it's still opening up the offense. Let's watch this hit here. This is actually a pretty big hit. Chuck knows he has him the whole time. Ball is released. Here's taking the hit. Gets slammed to the ground. 
so an accurate throw downfield for a touchdown. So I really like this play here by Shuck. It's a hell of a catch, but it's a deep ball from the right hash to the left side of the field past the 50-yard line. The, the reason why I like this is, and this could have been maybe the coach Dick told him ahead of time to go ahead and throw this, but this him taking that shot, he sees, okay, we got one-on-one -on -one down here, no up-top safety, plenty of space over here. Uh, this is kind of a no-brainer with a good receiver if you like this matchup, especially with its press man. So I like this him taking that shot. And, you know, when you take enough shots, calculated shots, then a lot of times they, they turn it into big plays. So uh, good ball. I like the ability to push downfield, but this is the mindset to take that shot and see it. Watch it from here. Again, could have been called by the coach to, to go ahead and throw that no matter what, but regardless, I like the shot here. Good arm strength as well. So before we, we scroll through this play, it's going to be a deep ball thrown inside the five-yard line. Um, hell of a catch and kind of just gives the receiver a shot but let's notice why he throws it so look down here we got press man this is the matchup you want if you're throwing the ball deep the safety does not get over in time down here we have their DB off eight-ish or so yards off the line of scrimmage so I like this taking the shot deep here uh, obviously we love that it was uh, completed but even if it wasn't I like just taking that shot here so the defenders are n n know that you are going to push the ball downfield some it end up being a catch and being a good play uh, but again oop, safety comes up here so he's got that one-on-one -on -one shot again hell of a catch um, but just the ability to, to take the shot and the read by Shuck to go ahead and, and deliver it I think is what will be beneficial for the Texas Tech offense here you can build a lot of different plays and schemes off just pushing the ball downfield Good catch. Another thing about Shuck's game is just his ability to run. He's, he's not going to you know outrun a DB by any means, but he's got enough mobility and athleticism to be dangerous as a runner. Let's watch this play here. Uh, something Texas Tech fans have obviously seen, but watch him get upfield, hits the hole. Again, not a speed burner by any means, but definitely an underrated athlete. I think this part of his game could really help Texas Tech's offense. Watch it from this angle here. Again, able just to get upfield. So this, the fact that defenses know he can do that is an element that Texas Tech will be able to use. Here's a quick clip of Tyler Shuck throwing a touchdown on the run. Now the receiver gets wide open here, uh, but still worth showing his ability. Step in the pocket, eyes downfield, throw on the run, deliver a ball down the middle of the field, wide open um, for a touchdown. Again, wide open throw, uh, but just an example of the ability to throw on the run and to push it downfield as he is stepping up in the pocket. We'll watch it from this angle here. There we go. Steps in pocket, delivers on run, nice easy throw for a touchdown. Here's Shuck again showing his ability to run. The play breaks down when there's nothing there. He's a smart runner, so uh, taking off and picking up a big chunk of yards here. Uh, 20 to 30-ish yards. What was it exactly? Probably 20 something yards. But a good decision to take off and run. So good, smart runner, and, and again enough enough athleticism and speed to hurt you with his legs if it's not taken to account for, which Stanford does not here. There's just no one over there. Good, smart decision there. Picks up a big first down. So again, just a few clips there, but I think it does a good job showing his ability to throw on the run when he needs to, to take off and run when he needs to, and push the ball downfield in multiple different ways, whether it's maneuvering in the pocket to set up a throw, or finding the mismatch pre-snap and delivering the ball downfield. But again, just taking shots downfield, I think he brings that to the table to the Texas Tech offense, and that's a, a potential reason why he could be one of the best quarterbacks in the Big 12, but at the very least, I think he's going to help Texas Tech's quarterback group overall, and Texas Tech fans should be excited for that. So again, that is Tyler Shuck, the transfer from Oregon, and now the Texas Tech, oh, the quarterback quarterback at Texas Tech. So if you like this video, please consider liking it, subscribe, all the YouTube stuff, and we'll see you next time on our next quarterback related video.